Welcome to the video lesson here on limits and uh, L'Hopital's rule. Um, but before we get to that, let's review a little bit about what limits are and uh, especially limits near infinity. So if the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals k or the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x is equal to k, then, well, let's see graphically what this means. So say you have an xy coordinate plane and you have a function uh, f of x that perhaps looks something like this. So let's say that it looks oh like that. Okay. And so in the long run, the value of the function that's in blue here is equal to this is getting closer and closer to the line y equals k. Or we can also say it in the other direction. Well, you can see here that then y equals k is uh, a horizontal asymptote. of f of x. Okay. Now I purposely only did this for one way, but you know, if you have an, another scenario going in the other direction, um, that would also work as well. Um, in the other in the next case here, if if x approaches a constant from the positive side and the result is positive or negative infinity, or if x approaches a constant from the negative side and the result is positive or negative infinity. So let's see what that means here. So in this case, let me just use this section over here. So let's say I have a point here, k, and as x approaches k from the positive side, x shoots down, let's just say towards negative infinity, or f of x rather, shoots down towards negative infinity then we can say that um, the line x equals k, whoops, let me clean this up a little bit here. The line what that out, x equals k uh, is a vertical asymptote. Okay. Is a vertical asymptote of f of x. So as x approaches k from either direction, um, from the positive side or from the negative side, and you end up with um, a, a curve that goes towards positive or negative infinity. So let, let's, let's say you, know, you have another one here that like shoots up towards positive infinity over here. Then you would have two hor vertical asymptotes, one here where I'm drawing it and one over here. So hopefully that gives you a sense of what it means uh, in limits terms for a function to have a vertical or horizontal asymptote. Right. Um, so with that, we're going to continue here and take a look at some examples. Find the horizontal asymptote of the following functions. Well, this shouldn't be too difficult to do. Uh, especially when you have quotients like these, uh, something divided by something else, um, we can just simply f try and figure out what, what is the limit. So let's see, for number one, we can take what is the limit of f of x. Oops, messed that up already. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Okay. So what is the limit of f of x? as x approaches positive infinity. Well, we can when we have this square root here, um, we can just look at all of the leading terms. So inside of the square root, uh, as x gets large, the whole thing is just going to behave like the leading term. So the top here um, will behave, and let me clean this up a little bit as well. This will be the same as the limit as x approaches infinity of the square root of 9x to the fourth divided by uh, 4x squared. Okay. Now again, as x approaches infinity, now we can actually do this, uh, this square root operation. You're going to get the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x squared over 4x squared. And this is going the x squares here will cancel and what you're going to have is uh, 3 over 4 
So in other words, as x gets very, very large, this function is just going to approach 3 fourths. Okay. Um, we also need to check what is the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x. Now here, um, we can just write out all these steps. We can kind of use what we did before and just skip to the end here. This will be the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 3x squared over 4x squared. Okay. So in other words, what this is saying is x approaches a very large negative number. Now, because of the x squares here, we're going to end up getting a positive result because you're going to square some number. Even if it's negative, you're going to get a positive result. So you're going to end up getting 3 over 4. Okay. So in this case, there's only one horizontal asymptote to this function. It is at 3 fourths. Let's take a look at another example here where in number 2, where maybe we, say we have some things that are a little bit different. So we want to find the limit as x approaches infinity of g of x. And we can work through all this stuff here. So this will be the limit as x approaches infinity, looking at the leading terms of the square root of 16x to the 6 divided by 5x to the 3rd. Now the square root of 16x to the 6, that's just 4x to the 3rd over and I'm forgetting my limits here so this should be the limit as x approaches infinity of 4x to the third over 5x to the third okay. now as you put in a very large positive number these x to the thirds here cancel out and you're gonna end up with 4 fifths okay. and once again it is important for us to check um, the limit as x goes towards negative infinity as well and I'll, I'll explain to you why so let's say we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of g to the g of x so we come to this root here we come to this result x to ne x approaches negative infinity um, the the square root of 16 x to the 6 divided by 5 x to the third okay so here is where our result will differ a little bit from the previous one where x approaches infinity. Note here that when you take the square root of this function, of this number, this very large number here, you're going to get a positive answer in the numerator. So take a negative number and plug it in, raise it to the sixth power, you're going to get a positive number. Take the square root of that, you're going to get a positive number. So your numerator, we're going, we're going to have A, uh, a positive number up here in the so I'll write this down here it's going to be 4x to the third but in the denominator when you plug in a negative infinity down here a very large negative number in here you're going to end up with a uh, let me actually clean this up sorry for this Let's try this, sorry. My stuff is going all over the place here. Let's try this again. So, all right, so this is what I wanted to say. Not so much with the, all those limits, is that in the long run, when you put in a negative large number into this square root, into x up here, x to the 6 will be a positive number. The square root of that will be a positive number. In the denominator, though, when you plug in a very large negative number, you're going to get a negative result. So our answer here is going to be negative 4 fifths. Okay? So in other words, what this function is doing, it actually has two different horizontal asymptotes. It has a horizontal asymptote at 4 fifths as x gets very, very large towards positive infinity. And it has a horizontal asymptote of negative four-fifths as x goes towards negative infinity. Right? So this is a little bit different um, than, than the previous example number one here where you have the same horizontal asymptote no matter what. All right, now let's, let us continue and finish the third example here. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of h of x. Now, 
when we square, when we multiply everything out in the numerator, you're going to have something pretty complicated. But the largest term that you're going to have there is going to be 25x to the fourth okay, divided by uh, 2x to the second. And of course, we're still taking the limit as x approaches infinity. Now, in this case, what you have here is a number that that is uh, very, very large. So you have x to the fourth up here and x to the second. And so we can simplify and say that you really have 25x squared over 2. Okay, so these this these powers here reduce and this is what we have and it's important to have this limit in place right here because what we're we're saying um, we're not really saying that these two functions are equivalent right we're not saying that this function right here is exactly equal to h of x we're saying that the limit as h of x the limit as x approaches infinity of h of x is equal to the same limit here. So whatever this function 25x squared over 2 does as x gets large, the same thing is going to happen to h of x. Okay? And in this case, um, you can see that as x gets large, this whole expression is just going to get large, very, very large. It's going to approach positive infinity. Okay? So that's going to be our limit. Um, we can also say that the limit doesn't exist because it doesn't. I mean, if the limit, the limit is infinity, then there really is no limit. Okay. So there's a lot of little subtleties in here um, that's important for us to, uh, to, to pick up here. So what we're really saying here is that the numerator of h of x is going to grow and the denominator of h of x is going to grow. But the numerator will grow significantly faster than the denominator. Therefore, um, in the long run, h of x will approach positive infinity, or a very, very large number. All right, so we'll end this lesson here. In the next couple of videos, I'll show you um, some of the more complicated cases. As always, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.